Hello everyone. Welcome once again. We are studying from Isaiah chapter 61. Um uh, I know that we have not been able to cover all the scriptures but just some insights here and there but every single insight is blessing our hearts so we praise God for that. Today we will look at verse 7. It says Instead of your shame you shall have double honor and instead of confusion they shall receive in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess double everlasting joy shall be theirs we talked about the fact that isaiah 61 is a messianic prophecy about the lord jesus and the works that he will he will do to deliver his people in all these passages we not only notice deliverance but we see promises of restoration and this is a beautiful verse because it talks about double god wants to give back double and there's a mention of double twice it really shows us the heart of god now god wants to release uh, his blessings upon his people and he's delighted in doing that and we see that you know he is somebody who chooses to uh, bless the ones who walk faithfully with him we see that he wants to replace our shame with his double honor uh, and not only that remove every confusion and replace that with rejoicing he wants to give us double in the place where we are at so that you know we experience his joy uh, and i just want to encourage us uh, today you know based on other passages of scripture as well uh, when we are walking in the ways of god and if we have been wrong though we are walking in righteousness if at all we have been wrong we can put our faith uh, in god and trust for a restoration we can trust that our shame will be changed into honor and scripture says double honor for our shame psalm 3 in verse 3 says but you o lord are a shield for me my glory and the one who lifts up my head when we look to the lord our faces will not be ashamed he is the lifter of our heads he is the one who puts honor on our lives and not um you know and just any human being and also in times uh, when we choose to walk with humility epistle of peter he writes if we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of god there there will be a time when god will lift us up so um don't be afraid to do what is right don't be afraid to lead a righteous life even if we uh, end up being wronged for something we have the promises of god that talk about restoration and honor let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that you restore and you bring honor father we submit to you we walk in obedience and righteousness oh god we praise you lord that you are faithful in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.